hello everyone welcome to a new video it is me Desiree I feel like I'm a little crooked um, and today I wanted to do a little get ready with me drugstore shop my stash but this is going to be a deep dive version so I went into my little makeup collection and I picked out products that I hadn't used in a really long time products I pulled out and couldn't even remember when I bought them last time I used them and whenever I see people do um, makeup videos where they're using discontinued products, I feel inside like I'm hurting because I have to have that, but I can't, it doesn't exist anymore. Don't feel that way watching this video, just take it as a cue to dig into your collection, use your old products, use the stuff you haven't used in a long time, the stuff that's discontinued. And I, I haven't used any of these in a long time, so I'm hoping it's gonna be fun. We'll see if any of them actually work out. And I hope I'm not romanticizing these products too much and like thinking they're really, really good when they're really not. So for primer, I pulled out the Neutrogena Radiant Primer and Serum Healthy Skin. So actually let's zoom in first. I can't remember the last time I used this. I've used a lot of it, obviously. It's just a really thin, serum-y kind of foundation, uh, foundation. serum -y kind of primer. And it has a really nice like radiance to it. And I think it's really, really pretty on the skin. Yeah, it smells fine. I'm like, I can't remember the last time I used it. Let's at least check if it smells good. So I like this one because it just kind of makes my skin look like I just put skincare on again. Adds a nice little glow, but not in a like shimmery kind of way. There are some shimmer particles in here, but I can't see them. Like I can't detect them on my skin. So it kind of just adds a nice little glowy dewiness to the skin, kind of like I just put on moisturizer or something. So I really like this stuff for days when I'm doing like really lightweight coverage and stuff because it kind of lets that glow show through. Uh, but for foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I know this is not like an old product for Wet n Wild, it's definitely a newer thing to their line. But I don't have a ton of foundations from the drugstore that I haven't used recently. But this is the one that I haven't used in a long time. Ugh, it's separated. Okay, hold on. Let me shake it up. So I know it was at least last year when I used this. Um, I honestly can't remember the last time I used it. I want to say I used it a handful of times and maybe that was it. I feel like I did a video. Did I talk about this in a video? I don't even remember. Mmm, I don't like the scent. Oh, I don't like the smell of this. But, ooh, that looks really pretty. Oh my goodness. This looks so nice. Really nice. Let me blend it out a little with the sponge. Ooh, I really like that. I honestly can't tell you the last time I used this. And now I'm like, why don't I use this all the time? I like that a lot. Ooh, that's pretty. This is the shade Light. So for concealer, I pulled out the matte, no, I pulled out the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So this, I have no idea when I bought this. I don't know when I bought it, why I bought it, how long I've had it. I was looking through the concealers and I was like, what the heck is that doing in there? So I've had this for a long time, I'm assuming. I don't remember the last time I used it. I honestly don't even remember buying it, but we're gonna use it. I did open it and smell it. It smells perfectly fine. This is the shade 15 Light. And I remember this concealer was like the thing. Everybody was using it. People were buying multiple shades to do cream like contouring with. And I don't know why, I just never really used it. But I feel like I have used one of these up in the past because I, I remember it. Why I bought it again, no idea, nor do I remember. Ooh, it's pretty. I really like it. Oh my goodness. Now I get it, I get the hype now. Ooh, I, I love that tinted hydrator a lot with this concealer. I think it looks so pretty. I saw I had picked out a really mattifying powder and I put it back and picked out something else and now I'm glad I did because I kind of want to keep this glow. Ooh, I really like that. That looks really nice, really natural, skin-like. Ooh, like it. Um, I'm gonna do some under eye concealer, the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is something I've just been really loving a lot lately. Ah, 
All right, under eye concealer on. I think Maybelline needs to re-promote this concealer. It's freaking amazing. So for powder, I actually pulled out two because I couldn't decide which one was like the one. I might use a combination of both. This is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. I haven't used this in forever. Did I even use it at all last year? I don't remember. But I have used up one whole compact of this and I purchased it again. It was the only powder I'd ever, ever liked. And the reason I was saying that I'm glad I put my mattifying powder back is because this one has like a nice soft radiance to it and it's not gonna really take down the glow for my skin. It's going to a little bit, but not in a flat matte kind of way. And I used to freaking love this powder. I would use it every day. Um, and then I don't know, I just kind of started trying other things, you know, and then I put it away because it seems like it's discontinued. I'm not sure. I don't see it in store ever actually. So maybe it's still on their website though. I knew I was gonna like the powder because I just remember really loving it. So it sets your makeup without taking away the glow too much, but you know, it does set things in place. And then I have the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade Creamy Natural. And I bought this a long time ago. Did I get this last year or the year before? Uh, I don't know, it just for some reason looked cool to me. I remember buying also the CoverGirl Olay foundation with a swirl of moisturizer and I really didn't like it. I don't remember this at all, but I'm gonna use it under my eyes. You actually don't need powder with this concealer. It just kind of like sets on its own. It doesn't stay dewy or tacky, but it also doesn't dry tight. It's just amazing. But I'm gonna put some anyway just to use it. Where is my brush? Oh, I put blush on it. Oh, well, let's try something else. This one, that one's clean. I'm just gonna get a little bit of this. It looks really like soft and the look of this looks very similar to the Milani one. It has like a nice little radiance to it, like a glow. I don't know how much to use. I'm just gonna get a little bit and kind of just, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, obviously I just use a tiny bit under my eyes, but there you go. Bronzer, I pulled out the Honest Beauty Dusk Reflection Luminizing Powder. So I bought this back when um, Honest was sold at Ulta and now they're sold at Target, they're sold at Walgreens. So although I bought this at Ulta, I'm still counting it because it's a drugstore brand. This is a really old bronzer and I remember buying this when um, Honest was getting clearance out of Ulta because everything was like, 60% off, 75, 90% off, and I bought this, and I loved it, but I thought um, Honest was getting discontinued, so I stopped using it because I thought, I might use it up, as if that's ever gonna happen. I'm gonna use it up, and I'm not gonna have it anymore, so I stopped using it, and every now and then I pull it out, and I remember, ooh, I love it. I don't think they still sell this bronzer in their line. Like, honestly, I don't think they have a bronzer, do they? If they don't have one, they should bring this back because I love it. I think it just looks like summer, like a summer tan, and I really, really like this. I gotta pull that out more. For a highlighter, I went for something that I have had for a long, long time. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade The Sweetest Bling. So remember when Wet n Wild used to have really fun, cute, and really cool, good quality, limited edition collections, like they'd bring one out for spring and maybe one for summer. They were so good. I would drive store to store to store trying to find them. This was back when uh, brands didn't sell their entire collection in a set that you could buy. You could only buy them in store and then only if they had them in stock, which most of the time the store just got the one display and if it was sold out, it was sold out. And this was the last collection I remember being good from Wet n Wild. I don't remember the name of it, but it was all heart themed like this. They also had a blue highlighter. They had a little palette of lip, like little mini lipsticks in a heart shaped little compact thing. And I remember people calling the store asking for it. And I remember very specifically one girl said, um, I am a collector, I have to have it. Do you have it, when are you getting it? And people would come in all the time for those collections. And it was just so fun back then uh, with the makeup being exciting like that. But I really like this hi highlighter powder. And now that I have it on though, does this have a gray undertone, like that silverness, or am I just seeing it weird in the sunlight? Or is it gray? Either way, I like it, gonna keep it forever. 
For blush, I pulled out the Neutrogena Cheeky Wink um, blush in the shade First Crush. I've had this for um, a couple of years, if not a few. I got this at Walmart, and I used the heck out of this blush when I first got it. It is like a putty kind of texture, and it is very lightly pigmented. Um, and I remember having to like dig into the pan a lot to get color to show up on my cheeks. But now I kind of appreciate this kind of lighter blush. So I'm just gonna go with whatever comes out on my brush. And the brush I'm using is the Airbrush Stipple Brush from e.l.f. I love this one. Ooh, I love it. I am loving this base with this bronzer. I think it looks great. It looks like summer. It looks like I'm trying to manifest summer here in winter. I love it a lot. I'm so glad I shot my stash for these products. This blush I really enjoy after all these years that I've had it. It's still not dry, still pigmented, still blends great. Enjoy it a lot. Um, For brows, I'm kind of like, now that I really like the way the rest of the makeup is going, I'm kind of nervous to use this because I think I'm going to mess it up. It's from e.l.f. and it's their Brow Cream. This is the shade Medium Brown. I don't have a lot of drugstore makeup products that I hadn't like used in a really long time, but this is one I haven't used in a long time. Um, and I tried it out earlier today, like before I got in the shower, just to kind of see, just to kind of gauge the creaminess and the color, and I was like freaked out about using it. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. It's just too creamy because they say you can use this as a brow, like a brow pomade and a gel eyeliner. So it's super creamy, it's almost too pigmented, and I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna mess it up, but we're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go gentle. I see people use pomades and they're like holding their brush like this and like drawing hard on their face. How do they do it? I have no idea, because I would just make a freaking mess and I would look ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I got too much. Uh, uh. So I'm probably gonna be here for like 10 minutes trying not to jack up my eyebrows. Uh, but yeah, I'll join you back here in a sec for eyes. All right, that's as good as the eyebrows are gonna get. I just used the pomade and then I set it with some gel, the NYX Thick It Stick It. I've really been liking this a lot. Not a shot my stash, I don't really have one for that category, so I thought I would just use what I'm loving. Um, I did bring out another concealer, I completely forgot, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I don't get this. I don't get the hype on this, I don't like it, I don't understand why everyone loves it so much. I think it's really bad. Um, but I pulled it out because I honestly don't remember why I even still have it. Oh, I don't know. Is it supposed to smell like that? Is it supposed to smell old and cheap and like paint? I don't remember. But I'm gonna use this as an eye primer because I don't like it as a concealer at all and I actually think I'm just gonna throw it away. I don't, I don't even know why I still have this. It's just so thick and paint-like and I'm sure it's because it's also very old but I remember when I got this, I just don't get it. I don't know, just don't get it. Thought I would just use it as a primer just to use it. As a primer, not so bad actually. I really like that it canceled everything out. You know what? Hmm. Maybe I'll keep it for that use. We'll see. For eyeshadow, I brought out this. This is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette in the shade Fire. So they used to have this line over at Walmart and it was all like elements and stuff like that. And I bought I think all of the little palettes that looked like this and I thought they were horrible. This one was so good though and I'm really excited to use it again. I'm kind of regretting not doing eyes first because I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping this doesn't have a ton of fallout. I'm just gonna go easy with it. So I'm just gonna kind of just dip in here, maybe that brown one, maybe the gold one, just kind of go around the palette and just kind of see what I come up with. Please don't have a lot of fallout. Please don't have a lot of fallout. I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna use some of this like yellowy one on just like up here, I don't know, just for fun. Not really showing up. Kinda, ooh, no, I don't like that. Mm. Oh well, I already did it. Gotta do it to the other side. Gotta even it out, gotta even out the mess I'm making. Um, I don't know, I don't like the shape I'm making with this eyeshadow, but 
We're just going to go with it. All right, I'm going to do some on the lower lash line and we will join you back for setting spray and mascara. All right, for setting spray, I didn't really have one that I was like a deep dive kind of thing. So I'm just going to use what I'm currently using. I'm trying out all of the Wet n Wild setting sprays and primers because I want to do a video on them for drugstore month. And right now I'm focusing on the cucumber one. So I'm just going to spray some of this on my face. I mean, Wet n Wild by far has the best sprayer of any setting spray I've ever tried. I really, really, really enjoy the Wet n Wild setting sprays so far. Um, I love the way they just kind of set everything and add a nice little glow without a bunch of tackiness. I really enjoy it. Last step, oh no, we have two more steps. I actually brought out two liners I completely forgot about, one from Milani, one from Pixie, but I don't really feel like using a liner. I don't know. I don't feel like using it. Don't feel like having to like remove it later. We'll be fine. But the mascara I brought out is the Maybelline Snap Scara. This is their tubing mascara. And I repurchased this actually a couple of months ago because I wanted to do a video on my 2019 drugstore favorites. Like where are they now? And this was my favorite mascara for that year. Uh, this is how the wand looks here. And as I've been using this the last couple of weeks, I don't know why this was one of my favorites. I'm kind of feeling like I should put on the eyeliner now. So as I've been using this the last couple of weeks, I I can't re I can't like figure out why this was one of my favorites. I just find it kind of blah now. It does wear very nicely though. It does wear like a tubing mascara. It removes so easily. But I don't know. I just I just don't love it anymore. And I feel like it was kind of just blah. It's not doing ton for my lashes. With like a red toned eye, I kind of would like more like dark black lashes in front of it. And like big full fat lashes. And this just kind of, I don't know. It doesn't do much for me anymore. I don't really like this mascara. My lashes just look like puny, barely there. I don't like it. I don't like this mascara with this eye look. I might put something else on because I want to do a couple of other videos after this. So I think I'm going to put on something else just to kind of make up a little more like boom. And then the last thing I pulled out is something I realized I never ever talk about in videos and that's lips. So I love lip gloss and I use it just about every single day and I never talk about it. I don't know why. I finish with mascara and then I'm like, all right, that's it. Video's done. I always forget to put the lip stuff on in the video. So I pulled out the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Pearl. I love these glosses from Maybelline. I think they're wonderful. And this is one that I rarely, rarely use. It does have a lot of sparkly kind of pearls in it, like sparkliness, but you can't feel it on your lips. Um, obviously it does have like a white kind of tone to it, but I love these glasses. A lot does come out on the brush, so I usually just take like the tip rather than the actual applicator because I feel like it's a little much, but I love these. They feel great on the lips. They last a long time. They're not too sticky. They are a little on the thick side, but not in a bad way. Mm, just really like the gloss and I want to make a point to start featuring the lip glosses I'm using in the videos more often because I always forget. All right, so that is my shop my stash. Okay, get out of here. All right, so that is my deep dive drugstore shop my stash look. I freaking love the way this came out. Honestly, with the exception of the mascara, I really like everything that I use today. I love this bronzer. I think it looks just like a nice summery bronze shade. I loved the two powders I used. Loved the Neutrogena blush. I loved the highlighter. Um, I don't, I don't love this concealer, but I think it worked perfectly fine for a, um, eyeshadow base. Really like the Maybelline Fit Me. And I, and the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. This is awesome. So yeah, I loved shopping my stash for these products. I almost don't even want to put them back. I'm going to keep using them for the next couple of weeks at least until I get my fill of them. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you tomorrow for another drugstore video. A uh, Goodbye.